Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of TikTok Tea with CC. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So I'm going to do a voiceover. Like I said, there is a work going on in my house. Please bear with me. I just want us to go through this video. Um, this lady right here is sharing the reason why she stopped dating. Check it out. I stopped dating around the time when I found out that there are women out here who are giving their boyfriends their work checks. And their boyfriends are giving them money out of that check for them to go and spend. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't compete nowhere where I can't compare. The playing fields are not leveled at this point. Y'all got it. Y'all the elitist employees. You can have all of them and you deserve them. Okay, I just want us to make this a conversation in the comment section today. For me, this is sounding like an abuse. Like, why would why, why would I give all my money to my man and then he would give me some money out of the money that I made to go do some shopping for myself. I understand that the women in the 80s, in the 70s, they did this. It was a thing. And I think it is still a thing, even in 2024. No, this, this is not for me. I can assist my man. I can contribute. I don't have any problem with that. Of course, I do it in my house. But giving all my heart and money to my man. And then he would, out of that money, give me some money to go do some shopping. No, no, we no, no, we are not doing this in 2024. Anyways, women are reacting to these videos. I have put together a few of them. Let's just hear what they are saying. And of course, I'm going to show you some random comments because she turned her comment section off. I stopped dating around the time when I found out that there are women out here who are giving their boyfriends their work. If I hadn't heard this story with my own ears, I would think this woman was lying. So years ago, I used to work with this lady. Um, thank the heaven she wasn't black, but she would always bring her lunch. And I can't exactly remember how the conversation came about, but whatever it was, I think we were, someone had invited her to go to lunch with them. And she was like, oh, you know, I don't have any money. Um, she's like, I've, I've already gone through my allowance. Allowance. This is a grown, grown ass woman, 30 plus, by the way. And I was, I was in my twenties at the time. Ma'am, you work full time. And you had allowance. And she had a husband and a daughter. And she went on to explain that when she gets paid, her husband said that she's bad with money. So he instructed her to bring home her entire paycheck and he gives her, I believe, I, I want to say, he gives her 20 to $25 a week allowance. And I was like, 20 to $25? That would, you can eat that up in gas. You can eat that up in lunch. And she was like, well, he fills up my gas tank every week. And, um... If I need anything else, I just have to go to him and he pays for it. But it's okay because he's he's not wrong. I am really bad with money. I beg your finest pardon. Because getting up every morning and going to work and clocking in and out at your job and then handing your husband your paycheck is insane. I don't give a damn how bad I am with money. I might give you some of it, enough to go towards the bills, but what's ever left is mine. But to hand you my whole paycheck and you give me twenty to twenty five dollars allowance? Oh hell no! Is that what marriage is? Is that? Oh no! Mm mm. I I still follow her on social media. I don't know if that's still the case to this day, but I do know that that was insane back then, and it's still crazy as hell now. Getting an allowance out of your own paycheck and twenty to twenty five dollars no less. Oh hell no. In around the time when I found out that there are women out here who are giving their boyfriends their work checks. Unfortunately, this has been happening for a long time. I have experience of this. I was married in twenty uh two thousand and two. My son came along in 2004. I had been with 
my ex-husband then for two years previously. A year into the relationship, we moved in together into um, a place outside of hospital accommodation, which is where we were living at the time. And we opened a joint bank account, perfectly normal. Everybody does it. We opened a joint account, bank account because we had household bills to pay and we decided it would be good if they were all in one place. The original idea was to split the bills and put that amount of money from our own bank account into the joint account. Absolutely. Started to get to the point, you know, once we had gotten married, that he was like, maybe we should just get paid into the joint account. That would be easier. Then we can transfer out. Stupid here didn't think anything of it. Um, so that's what we did. Then my son comes along and the attitude starts to change a bit. And I would have to start explaining what I needed to take the money out of the joint account for. You know, um, I was on maternity leave, but I was still getting paid. So I was still putting money into the account, but I was having to sort of justify why I needed it. And I don't mean for like household bills and food and things like that. And, you know, the general things that babies need. I meant that if I wanted something, I'd get questions about it and I'd have to sort of justify why I needed it. And my ex-husband will start saying things like, well, I don't mind you spending on things, but I, I want you to have something to show for it. Thinking, meaning that he thought that what I was spending money on was like frivolous and things like that. And it wasn't necessarily, it was just, you know, I wanted some clothes or I wanted some new makeup or something like that. It wasn't just stuff that didn't, you know, that just disappeared or, you know, was an unnecessary purchase. It was just the stuff that I wanted. But anything that I bought was then deemed by him to be not worthy of of it. And he'd get annoyed if it wasn't something he deemed to be, you know, something to show for it. So he, he would sort of then, if I wanted to go shopping, it was like, well, you can take this amount of money out of the account. And I was back working at this point and I'd be like, but that's my money. Yeah, but you're not very good with it. And I think that a lot of the, the, the fact that this is still happening shows two th it can be two things. It can, first of all, in the more sort of minor way, but then becoming more of a major problem, it can show that, you know, these men, not all of them, I am not saying that before anyone comes to me or comes for me, not all of them. But these men in particular that are doing this, that are taking the, the paychecks, are scared of independent women. And they want to turn them into like the non-independent women, obviously. But the other and the other more... Um, the, the more dangerous problem is... Not that that isn't a dangerous problem, but that can be a more dangerous problem is... This is what starts off financial abuse. And it, and it happens slowly in a lot of cases where you don't realise that you're being fin financially manipulated until it's too late. I, the, the, the beginning of the end of my marriage came from me waking up. And when I went back to work, properly when my son was older was a little bit older he was about a year old um because i wasn't allowed to take any more maternity leave than that because that was deemed as not worthy but i went back into full-time employment and my ex-husband stayed at home and worked part-time which he hated i categorically refused at that point to get paid because it was a new job into the joint account I said no I said I'm going to be paid into my account and I will put the money into the joint account and I kept it like that 
and then other things but then I became more independent then I wanted to go back to college and then things started to happen and he decided to leave because he didn't like the way things were going but yeah kudos completely to the girls like this and to anyone like this who is having to give their partner or is learning from the fact that from giving their partner paychecks and all these kind of things and has decided nah this is the way I'm going to stay because I think that those people are doing the best thing that they can to keep themselves safe and I wish that I had learnt quicker and became and got back to being financially independent a lot quicker than I did. She'd be down there cooking, and then they would set up, and, you know, me and my other roommate, because we had, this three was a townhouse kind of thing, but me and my other roommate, um, we were just watching this being like, what do we do? What do we say? You know, and eventually we did have a sit-down conversation with her, but for some reason she didn't hear us as coming to her as women. She heard us was as, like, attacking her and her boyfriend, and she's like, well, it's not that big of a deal, it's not that big of a deal. I'm like, well, if it's not that big of a deal, then maybe he can put some bread behind this, you know? Um... Of course, she ended up feeling alienated, and she left. Um, I haven't thought about her in, like, at least 15 years, but, like, man, I just... I The self-esteem was so low in her face and everything. And when I tell you she was beautiful, she literally could have been a model. And you know what? They do say that. I mean, like, I struggle with it, too, because I'm, like, super stunning and gorgeous. But, like... You, get, you let someone like that get into your head and make you feel like you have to jump through all these hoops. And if you're not used to being treated kindly, oh, boy. Oh, just fuck me. I've been guilty of this so many times, you know? But if you're not used to being treated kindly and if you don't know what boundaries are, when that man says he's going to leave you because you're not cooking eggs in the morning, you jump two feet, ten, ten toes down. That was weird. You, you make accommodate, you accommodate things that you probably shouldn't is what I'm trying to say. I stopped dating around the time when I found out that there are women out here who are giving their boyfriends their work. <laughs> Yo, is that what we doing now? We're, we're going to work, getting this check, and then we handing our checks to our men, and then they're giving us an allowance. Oh, so when did it become our parents? Because last time I checked, parents did that shit. You know, when you did your chores and you earned that shit. Oh, so now we just gonna go into these jobs. I crack a dawn job or dust at night jobs just to get a fucking ch paycheck and hand it off to a nigga. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Because there's, there's no way. Look, it's already hard as it is out here in this world to go to a job, especially a job you don't like, day in, day the fuck out, slave away, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 hours, and then for you to just get your full paycheck and then hand it off to him, and then he gives you a fucking allowance? What? Yo, ain't no way. Nah, I need to have access to my check 100%. Nah, fuck that. 1,000%, okay? Because at this day and age, look, the way shit is going up, the way bills is piling up, the way debt is racking up, ain't no, nah, uh-uh. And then you gonna take my money? <laughs> and <laughs> Do whatever you want with that shit? No, absolutely not. Nah, ladies, if you're doing this, y'all really need to rethink that shit because, uh-uh, that is not acceptable. No, that is not your mom. That is not your dad. That is your check. You earn that shit. You hold on to that shit. You 
shit, put that shit the fuck away, something. But giving that man your entire check and for him to give you a little bit of, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Do better, y'all, because there ain't no way we descended that far down the goddamn ladder to be doing some nut shit like that. Yo, no, 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 no. Ladies, do better, because, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Baby. No, listen, I understand, like, hey, you know, help somebody out with a little money here and there, but you give your entire paycheck? Are you saying, are you serious right now? Oh, no, mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. You fuck, no. I, yo. Mm. I, yeah. Could not be me, though. Mm, mm, mm. The time when I found out that there are women out here who are giving their boyfriends their work checks. I beg your finest pardon. Like, huh? Where? Who? Why? Boyfriend? I wouldn't even do this for a husband. That is the very definition of financial abuse in my mind. Because there are your turn yeah we're not on the same playing field obviously we're not we are not you can have those men i don't want them i'll be single i'm okay my entire check to you am i like I don't even understand the logic. I don't even understand how this conversation to get this established would occur. Like, how do we get here? I wouldn't even request my husband turn over his whole check to me. If I was a stay-at-home wife, I wouldn't request that. Now, we might have a joint account for food and joint expenses, but it wouldn't be my whole check. We would each put a portion of our check, typically a percentage because that's more even. Like some people put 15 to 20% into a joint account of their check, and it helps cover bills so that both people are contributing the same percentages. And it kind of levels the playing field when you have couples with income differences, but the entire check and then he's giving money back to you as in spending allowance why is she unable to budget and give herself a spending allowance are we budgeting as a family and it's decided that both of us are only going to spend like what a hundred dollars a week and that's not including gas and transportation fees. Because just help me understand. Please. I've been thinking about it for like an hour. And I I just don't get it. Someone clarify. Please. Around the time when I found out that there are women out here who are giving their boyfriends their work checks. They giving the whole work check? Hold on, I asked for permission for this. Hey, baby, they said they giving out whole work checks. Uh, can I can I get a little work check? I'm just asking. Are you sure can. Oh shit, hot tamale with it. <laughs> Let's get a little work check going. Yeah, hey, hey, sign me up. Anybody out there that's giving out work checks, I take them. Mm -hmm. My wife's already approved it. Y'all gonna pay mortgage? Mortgage? Cool. Mortgage. 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 Got it. Mm -hmm. Work check. Let me get that. Mm -hmm. So here are a few comments I grabbed randomly. Like I say, she turned her comment section off 
obviously some men came for her in her comment section and from this comment you could see you know women's reactions and men's reactions some of them are saying that oh okay so it is okay for men to bring all their money and spend on you and you the woman you don't want to like release all your money to your man now y'all need to understand this okay women are help meet i do that in my house like i said i help but i mean bringing all or giving you all baby no no let's i mean <laughs> this is crazy let's just make it a conversation in the comment what you all think you know drop it in the comment guys and thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like this video share comment and of course come back for another video i'm gonna see you all in my next one you'll stay blessed Bye.